Sati was the practice of the immolation of a Hindu woman on the death of her husband in his funeral pyre. Although this practice does not have any Vedic sanction, it had become prevalent in some parts of India. The widow was supposed to ascend to heaven and this was considered the ultimate sacrifice and proof of a woman's devotion to her husband. Many cases of Sati were voluntary whereas some were forced. Raja Ramohan Rai, the great Hindu reformer from Bengal, fought many societal evils prevalent in the Hindu society of Bengal and Sati Pratha was one of the chief ones. He had witnessed the live immolation of his own sister-in-law, which touched his soul. He started his struggle against this practice in 1812. William Carey, an English missionary, also fought against this barbaric practice. In the year 1817 alone, about 700 widows were burnt alive. Even though the British initially allowed it, it was first banned in 1798 in Calcutta. However, the custom continued in the surrounding areas. Raja Ramon Roy was a vociferous campaigner against Sati. He argued that the Vedas and other ancient Hindu scriptures did not sanction Sati. He wrote articles in his journal, Sammad Kamudi, advocating its prohibition. He requested the East India Company administration to ban this practice. Lord William Bentick became the Governor General of India in 1828. He helped Raja Ram Roy to suppress many prevalent social evils like Sati, polygamy, child marriage, and female infanticide. Finally, the Bengal Sati regulation, which banned the Sati practice in all jurisdictions of British India, was passed on 4th December 1829 by the Governor General Lord William Bentick. The regulation described the practice of Sati as revolting to the feelings of human nature. After this law was enacted, similar other laws Prohibition this custom were passed in princely states in India. In 1861, after the control of India went on the British crown directly, Queen Victoria issued a general ban on Sati throughout India.